dear all so today what we are going to see is how can we create a new project uh, and write an assembly language program using write 6.1 so uh, the first thing what you have to do is open write well, like i mentioned you have to go to that bin folder where write is installed then go to the uh, uh, write icon which will launch write right click it run as administrator will launch write then open it after opening you will get a window like this so in this window go to project click on new so it will ask for the name of the project okay so project is something which you have to understand and imagine it is a bigger task okay a big task which you want to achieve so this project when you are uh, when you are working on this project this project multiple teams or groups will be working on the same project so each team or group will be having one uh, set of program so each group will be having a set of programs or uh, uh, programs associated with them so ultimately all the programs will be linked to the project okay so the, each group might assume like the input for my program is from uh, the other the output of another group and uh, i'll give the my programs output in this format which will be used by some other team and so on so uh, click when you click on new project you will uh, get this window uh, uh, you create a folder in your laptop or pc uh, uh, maybe by the name write projects in any of your drives for the time being, I have created that it will hit in my desktop. So desktop, I have created a folder by name Write Projects. So your uh, works, whatever you are doing should be systematic and organized. Okay. So in that, give a meaningful name for the pro first create a uh, uh, folder. So I have created some folders already. So right click it and create a folder. Uh, uh, that folder will have all the files associated with your particular task. So in this, uh, uh, the, the, the program which we are going to write is addition of two numbers so i will give the name like add two numbers so that is my folder so all the files i will be putting here so in that what is the project name so add two numbers itself i am just giving a meaningful name click open so it will create in that folder whatever wherever you have given uh, uh, the uh, mentioned project click on ok so the project will be created with that name after creating the project next is we have to write our assembly language program that is the next step so uh, click on file click on new go to click on assembler files because we are going to write an assembly language program so in that it will come like dot a51 that is the extension for the assembly language program click on file save as so in that again you can give the same name okay for the uh, as the project itself or you can give a different name i'm just giving meaningful names click on save so it will create a file with that name uh, in the folder whatever we have mentioned so then you write the program the program already had explained last uh, 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 lab so this is the program so what exactly the program does the semicolon corresponds to comments okay so whenever you are writing a programming assignment always write meaningful comments don't write for all the lines like i have written here this is since it's the first program i have written the comments like this rather than that give comments at necessary points so that if anyone other than you comes and checks the program they will be able to understand what exactly the program is doing so the first line i am telling it's addition of two numbers uh, and in the case of uh, uh, the uh, uh, the microcontroller programming which we are going to do in our lab i had told you the input is going to be defined in the external memory and the outputs are also we are going to write it into the external memory so when we are taking the inputs from external memory and writing the outputs to external memory the external memory should be associated with a particular address we have to give a particular address for where we are going to define the inputs and where we are going to write the outputs to so that definition should be uh, clearly defined at the start okay so how you should write the program is like i have mentioned there will be inputs there will be outputs so you have to identify what are the inputs then you have to understand what should be the output then you have to write the program so in our case the first one is inputs we know the inputs are since it's a simple addition of two numbers the inputs are going to be number one and number two the definition also i am defining like it's going to be in the locations 4500 and 4501 and the outputs also i am defining it is going to be in the location 450 
3. So that also we have defined. Then you have to write the algorithm. How exactly algorithm or flowchart? How exactly your program should? Uh, what exactly should be the sequence so that the program will output correctly? Uh, then you have to write the program. So I have uh, shown only the last part where we have written the program. I have explained in the last uh, the last session how to write the simple program. So after you write the program, you save it. Then the next step is you have to add this program to the project. So this is now an independent assembly language program. You have to link this to our current current project. So go to project, click on add node source bar application. Then click on your dot a15 from the respective directory. You have to go to your respective directory, select the assembly language file, click on open. So it will link this assembly language program whatever we have written to the project. So in a bigger project there will be multiple assembly language files like this where you need to link to the same project. Then go to project, click on build all. So if everything is correct, you will get no errors. Okay. So let's purposefully introduce an error. I am going to change this instruction to move a comma dptr. After that, control us, save it, go to project, click build all. So it is seeing uh, error 23 expression type does not match instruction. So there is a problem with the instruction. That instruction is not there. Because when we are using dptr to point to the external location, always the instruction is move x. Uh, that is what we have to use. Again, I have corrected that. Then control S, go to project, build all. So there is no errors. So now the program has compiled successfully. The hex file would be generated. Now the next step is evaluating the program. Whether uh, the program, whatever we have written is correct or not. So if you want to evaluate your program, you have to define your inputs and outputs. Okay. So the uh, we already know the input is going to be in the external memory and the output is going to be also in the external memory. Next is click on debug start. So you have to click on D. Click on debug, start your uh, program name dot AOF. That is the file you have to start. So it will ask, this is simulator. Okay, so it will ask for it's a, whether it's a simulator and so on. So we will click on OK. It will ask for the memory size. Just give the default values. Click on OK. Again, click on OK. So now if you see the first line is blue that means the execution is there at the first line after org 00 rights and you will get a window where you can see the memory uh, the registers also so you have to open x data view because that external memory we are going to use then you have to use the main registers also that that also you have to double click which will give the values of the registers so this execution now then click on the uh, window of the program. So this execution you can do in two ways. One way is line by line execution or the second way is you can execute all the uh, instructions at a stretch. So for the time being I am going to give line by line. So the program now it is waiting at the first line to execute. But before execution the input should be there. That is how it should be right. The inputs has to be there. So in our program the inputs are defined in 4500 and 4501. So go to, click on X data window. Go to search button. Type 4500. Click enter. So if you see in 4500 the value is FF. Okay. So change it to 03. Press tab, it will go to the next location. Press 02. Either you press enter or you press tab, it will go to the next location. So we have defined the inputs like 03 and 02 in the locations 4500 and 4501. Now, after execution, this location 45, this is 00, 01, this is 02. After execution, this location should uh, uh, get changed to 05. So, there is a small mistake. I have written the program like the sum is in 4503. No, it is in 4502. So, now let's execute. Let's execute it line by line. So, if you see in debug, step into line by line execution is called, uh, is um, done by clicking F7. So, let's do F7. 
So I am pressing F7 means this line is executed. The program is now waiting in this line. If you see the main registers window, DPTR is now 4500. Okay. So now let's execute again. Come back to the main window. Click the main window uh, of the program. Move X A comma and DPTR. After executing that line, A becomes 03. This value from 4500 is loaded to accumulator. Next line, R's row will be 03. So that is the instruction. Next increment DPTR. DPTR is 4501. Now move X A comma DPTR. A is 02. Add A comma R0. 03 plus 02 A becomes 05. So 02 is overwritten by 05. Increment DPTR. DPTR is 4502. Move X at DPTR comma A. So the uh, the value of 05 is uh, written to the location 4502. So that is line by line execution. Now if you want to run the project um, all the lines together rather than line by line again you have to go to debug terminate okay only one time you will be able to do this uh, running okay that is how uh, uh, you are going to do. Uh, so after the last line after the execution the program will wait at the last line again go to debug start it. So since you had opened all those uh, those two windows earlier, it will automatically come there. Again, go to 4500 location. Let's give a new value 18 and 15. So what should be the result? It should be 2D. 2D should be the sum that should be after executing the program. Then you click on go. Okay. So you will see like stop stop one icon that go has changed to stop. So that means the program is executing. Actually, the program has finished finished ex execution of all the lines. Okay, in microseconds it has finished because the crystal frequency what we have given is 12 megahertz. Okay. But the uh, the program won't stop here because the, the the program won't stop like what we saw in the last case because it is coming and executing this last line continuously. So you have to click on stop. So if you click on stop, the program will stop where it is currently being executed so it is currently being executed at the last line so it stops there if you see the result is 18 plus 15 is 2d so that result we have obtained so again if you want to uh, uh, change an input and rerun it go to debug either terminate and start again or restart if you click restart it will again come back to the first line let's give a new value 25 and uh, 35 the answer should be 5a click on go click on stop so it the answer is 5a which you are seeing here so that is how you can run the program all on a uh, 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 all on a stretch using uh, the go button uh, now uh, with regard to this program there is a slight uh, incompletion the program is incomplete uh, uh, you have to find out why exactly i have told like the program is incomplete i'll give you a hint so this program what it does is addition of two numbers so whenever you are uh, writing a program, you have to test for the worst case scenario. Like what are the worst case inputs that could be given to the program based on which you should uh, think about what should be the outputs. Okay, worst case inputs. That means the minimum inputs and the maximum inputs that the program uh, that can be given to the program. When I am giving that worst case inputs, what should be the worst case output that you have to understand. Then see whether your program will give that worst case output if it is giving that worst case output then the program uh, hopefully will work for all the different combinations of inputs so i am telling here like the program is incomplete so in today's uh, lab session i will ask one of you why the program is incomplete and how can you uh, uh, correct it uh, to make this addition of two numbers program perfect okay so uh, that's it uh, with regard to how to create a project in write and how to write a program uh, so what we have seen today is addition of two numbers so i have shown you only the first part the program part actually what you should do first is definition of inputs and outputs then the uh, algorithm then you have to write the program okay thank you all bye